Hi everyone, this is Sarah from SRS Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little butterfly. I originally posted this little green guy on my Instagram and what we're going to actually make is this one, the pink. It's slightly different. I attached the wings a little bit differently and designed the wings a little bit differently. So that's the in the smile. Those are the two differences, but uh, they're very similar. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a hook only design. So what you will need is your hook and a stitch marker. Plus you're gonna need stuffing to fill them up. Scissors if you're to cut the band if you're not gonna just rip the mouth band. And then you'll need some safety eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety eyes that I got off of Amazon. You'll need two of those. And the butterfly body itself is 209 bands. And then the wings I did in two different colors. The inside color here, you will need 46 bands. And the other color you're gonna need 34. And that's to do both wings. So let's get started. We are gonna start with a magic ring. So we're going to take one band and wrap it around your hook three times. There are three loops. And we're going to pull through six bands through this middle loop here. So we're going to pull it onto our hook, put the end of the band back on, grabbing all three loops in my finger, I'm going to make a slip knot with my hook. Now the hook goes back into the middle through all three of those bands. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to pull it through. We'll pinch it and pull through all three bands. Make sure you get all three. Making a slip knot with what's on your hook and then connecting the two with another little slip knot. And we're just going to keep doing that. So that's two. Here is three. Four. Five. And six. So here's our first row. Just making sure, showing you how to count your stitches. One is on the hook, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the first stitch on the first row. So that's where we're starting our second row. So our stitch goes, our hook goes inside there. And our next row, row number two, is going to be an increase row. We're going to be going from 6 to 12. So we're going to be putting two bands in each of these stitches. So here's my first one. I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to add my stitch marker to this band. And I'm going to go back into the same spot to put my second stitch. So this is two. And the next one's going to have two. So three and four moving again for five and six five and six and then the next stitch will have seven and eight nine and ten in the next And our last stitch, stitch will have 11 and 12. One, two, two in each. Now the next place I can put my hook is where the stitch marker is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook under there and get ready for my third round. In my third round, I'm gonna be increasing from 12 to 18. So we're gonna do a pattern of a single stitch and then an increase. So here's my first, this is a single, put the stitch marker there, and then I'm gonna do an increase in the next one, two stitches. One, two. Then we're gonna start again in the next single, and then a double in the next. One, oops, one, and two. Single. 
and then two for the increase. Single. Increase. Single. Increase. And then our last set of single and increase. And now we're up to 18. Hook back in, moving the stitch marker. So here's the first stitch on the fourth row. One, I'm gonna put my stitch marker back in. And we're gonna do 18 all around. So this is two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and our last stitch eighteen. hook back under where the stitch marker is. Now we're moving on to row five. It's also going to have 18 stitches all around. So let's do our first, our first stitch. We move the stitch marker and we repeat two single stitches all around. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and the last is eighteen. Now we're moving on to row number six. Same thing, 18 stitches all around. So let's start with our first. Pull a band through, moving our stitch marker. Two. Three. Four. Five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and our last stitch on row number six, 18. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the antennae for the butterfly. So I'm gonna put my stitch, my hook through that last stitch, and I'm gonna use my stitch marker as a safety hold for my project. So I'm gonna slip it up and under because I need my hook. So we are gonna make our antennae. And we're gonna take one band, wrap it around your hook, and wrap it around again so you have four loops. Through this band, we're gonna pull through five double looped bands. So put on your hook, double loop it, pull it tight, and slide this quadruple looped band on. One more. First one is always the hardest. The next four will be easier. Again, so this is two, and then you can just twist it, pull it through. Three, double loop it. Four. And our fifth one is five. Now we're gonna pull a single band through this whole antenna. And you should be able to unhook, uh, leave it like this unhooked and it should be fine. So go ahead and pause the video and make another one of these little guys. Okay, now that you have two antenna made, we're gonna attach them to the top of our butterfly's head. So if you can see the circle here, that magic ring where we started, that's the middle of the top of the head. So I'm just going to go over to the right hand side a tiny bit and I'm going to put my hook underneath and poke it through, through one of the, the holes. And I'm going to take the single band that was on the antenna and I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to angle my hook down this way so that I make sure that this band stays on my hook and I'm going to push my hook up through the other side and I'm gonna grab this, the other end of my single band on my hook and pull them both through. So now I have both that single band both on my hook. Holding it secure, checking it out. Yeah, I like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a slip knot. You could use a C-clip or tie an actual knot, but it's uh, gonna be stuffed on the inside so it's pretty secure. So here's my back, that's where I have one. I need to find a place to put my second antenna and I'm off on the left side. I'm gonna put my hook up, take the single band, pull it through, angle my hook down so it stays on, finding another spot to come up, grabbing that single band, pulling it back down, and then checking the antenna. Do I like them? Looks good. I'm gonna flip it over and do a say, oh, slip knot. Just pulling it tight. And then they're inside. So now we're gonna go on to a row number seven. So I'm putting my hook through my last stitch and then underneath where my hook, my stitch marker was. And we're gonna do our next row. So we need to go from 18 stitches down to 12. So we're gonna do a single and a decrease in that pattern. So here's my first single, stitch marker on, 
and now we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to grab the next stitch and we're going to combine the two. So I'm going to hold it on my hook and add that second stitch. And then I'm going to pull it through both. Moving to the next stitch, we'll do the single and then the decrease, grabbing one and grabbing two. The jelly bands are a little slippery, so you have to kind of be careful that you don't end up losing something. Single. And then the decrease, grabbing the first and the second. Pulling a band through. Single. And then we're going to do our decrease. Single. And then we're going to do the decrease. Single. And then the last two stitches become the decrease. Now we're gonna do the face and stuff the head. So I'm gonna put my hook underneath the first stitch in the last row, and I'm gonna do just what I did before, securing my project with my hook mark, my stitch marker, so I can take my hook out. And there's my head. So I'm gonna put my eyes on, and um, first I'm gonna show you the mouth. So you could do the mouth like this one, where you snip a band and stick it through and tie a knot, or if you want, you can do the mouth like this one where it's just a smile of stitches. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. And actually I did it from the inside. So I completely turned my project inside out and I used black bands. So I kind of, I'm looking to make a arc type line with my stitches. So I'm gonna put my hook on an angle up under one stitch going to put a band on my hook, pull it through and make a slip knot. Now I'm going to go in this I'm holding the band on, slipping underneath the next stitch, and I'm going to do the same thing, pulling a slip knot. So now I have a slip knot and I'm connecting the, them together. So I did like 3 across or 2 across and then one up, same thing. Where I'm pulling it through and this one I'm going to angle up a little bit. So on the inside it looks like this and I don't I wasn't the, uh, that fond of a wider mouth so that's why I used it on the inside and when you flip it around the other way you get you can see a thinner mouth where the bands are more close together. So that's one way that you can do the mouth. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to show you the other way and I'll keep that one on. So I'm going to take a band and I'm going to cut it with my scissors. And actually I'm going to place my eyes first. So here's one eye. I'm using the safety eyes, pushing the eyes through. That looks like a good spot for them. So then I just need to attach my back, little plastic back, as so you just push it. One click and then a second click, and then I know it's nice and tight. So I'm gonna put in my seconds. Safety back. One. There we go. Now I'm going to put the mouth on, now that the eyes, so I can kind of try to get it in the middle. So what I do for the mouth is I just open up the spacing in the stitches, and I take one end and I slip it in, and then I slip it in the second end. Now we are going to do another row down here before we get to the neck. So you, if you put it this low, it sh it'll still be fine. So I'm going to move it over here. Let's see. This, some of this is just your personal preference on how you think the smile will look. So you can kind of just play around with it. And then when you're happy with the placement, you just take the two ends 
I'm gonna make a knot and that will hold it secure. Oops. So there I have my little face. Let's see up there. Okay, now we're gonna stuff them. So you can use, this is a very small project, so you can either use the fiber fill that you can get at one of your local craft stores, or you could actually maybe even use cotton balls, scraps of fabric, anything you can kind of cut up and get inside there. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit more. When we're stuffing the rest of the body later, you can add more if you need it to the head. Okay, now that our head is stuffed, we're gonna move on to row number eight. So I'm gonna put my hook back through the last stitch that we made, take off my stitch marker, and I'm gonna put it through the last, the first stitch on the last row. So here is where we're gonna start. So this row, we're gonna go from 12 da stitches down to six. So we're going to be de doing six decreases all around. So here's our first band and we need to grab the second one for our decrease. So we're gonna pull it through both. Oops. So then we have it, there's the decrease and then we're attaching it to this other one and that's where our stitch marker will go. So we're gonna grab the next two. See, it? this almost looks like a stitch right here. So you want to be careful that you skip this stitch. You can see right there where we tied it in and did the decrease. So we need to actually go to the next one. One and two. So then that, here's the next stitch. See, there, there's a little space there. And it tricks you into thinking that that's where your hook needs to go. So then we grab the next two, which is not this one, because that's attached in. It's here and here. Next two, here and here. And then we'll have two stitches left. One, two. So now we're, we're down to six stitches. I'm gonna put our hook back through where we started and we're gonna do our next row, which is row number nine. <clears throat> and we are going to add two stitches to each of our stitches. We're gonna do an increase so we can go from six to 12. So here's our first, because now we've made the head and the neck, we're gonna work on this body. So there's our first, and we're gonna put our hook right in the same exact place that it was to do our second. And then move on. Here's our next stitch. We're gonna put two in here. Go slow. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that so you can make sure you're getting them in the right spot. It's a small area. Here's the next stitch right there. One. In the same spot, we're gonna put a second. This is the next spot. We're gonna put two there. And then we're gonna find our next spot here. We're gonna put two. And then our next, right here is our last, and that will put two there. All right, then we're back to the beginning. Our next row, we're gonna do 12 also.
So take our, this is our first stitch on the next row. Now we're going to do one single all the way around. So this is two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and then on our last stitch, twelve. There we go, back to the beginning. So that's twelve stitches. You need to make six more rows exactly like this. I'm gonna pause the video and after you do six rows, I'll meet you back. Okay, welcome back. So you should have done six more rows and we're gonna put our hook through where the stitch marker is and we're gonna stuff this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stitch marker on those three bands to keep them secure so I can take my hook out. And I'm just gonna put a little stuffing in him. Stretch him out, put it in there. Tiny bit more. Sometimes if you put it in really tight, then you can you know, expand it when you're done. Okay. Now we're going to start on row number 16 and what we're going to do is a decrease. So we're going to single stitch and a decrease all the way around. So pull one band through for a single and that's where my stitch marker will go. And then I'm going to do a decrease. I'm grabbing the next two stitches for a decrease. And then another single. And then a decrease, one and two. Single. And then a decrease, one and two. A single. And then our last stitch is going to be a decrease. We're going to grab the last two stitches, one and two. And back hook, back under. <clears throat> our next row, number 17, is going to be eight stitches all around. So here's one. Stitch marker back on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And our last stitch right here is eight. Hook back under where the stitch marker was. This is row number 18. This is our last row on the body. We're gonna do another set of decreases. This is gonna be tight. So you're gonna need to go slow. So we have one hook, we have one stitch on. We're gonna grab the next one. We're gonna pull it through 
put our hook back on, put our band, the band back on, put our stitch marker, and now we're going to grab the next two. We're only going to get a chance to do four stitches on this row. And then the next two here and here. And then the last two here. Yep. And here. And we're gonna pull a band through that, those two. And actually on this last stitch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a I'm gonna pull it through all of the bands. So I have one band left, and I'm gonna make a slip knot with this. So that makes a point at the end. And there is our butterfly body and we can just hide this band up and through into the back <clears throat> now we need to make his wings we're going to be using a slightly different technique we will not need the stitch marker to make the wings <clears throat> there are two colors of the wings there's the inside color and the outside color we're going to be starting with the inside color so from so I'm going, to, I'm going to use purple potion for the inside. And we're going to be doing a more traditional crochet stitch with the hook. And what we're going to do is we are going to chain five. So wrap a band like a cat band. This is our, our first. Hey, okay, came off. And we're going to pull through into a chain four bands. So that's two. three, four, and this is our fifth one. So now we have a chain of five on our hook. One, two, three, four, five. So when, you, when you're doing a crochet this way in a row instead of a circle, this last stitch on our hook is our sort of a working stitch or a turning stitch. So we're actually going to make four. We're using these four stitches to work with. So we're going to take our hook holding this first stitch and we're going to do four single crochets on this row. So we're going to take it, we're going to put it through the first stitch here. And we're going to do a single crochet. And we do that by taking a band, pulling it through the loop and putting it back on your hook. So this is the end that we started with, and then this band here is the first band in the crochet. Because each of these single crochets that we're making uses two bands. So we're gonna take another band, and we're gonna pull it through everything that's on our hook. So now we're gonna move. See, here's our chain. So there's our first stitch, and it kinda goes like that. We're gonna put it in the second, and we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna pull one band through and there's everything on my hook and then I'm going to pull another band through all four of those. So then we move over to the next one which is right here pulling one band through and then one through everything on your hook. And then here in the last one Pulling one band through just the first, and then one through everything on your hook. So now we've gone all the way across. Think of it like this. So now we're going to chain one, which means we're going to pull one through our hook so that we have room to turn, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to turn our project, so we're going to take our hook out and put it in the other direction. And then we're gonna turn our project because we're gonna be working this way, going back the other way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two single crochets in this first crochet of the second row. So it goes inside here. We're gonna pull one band through and then pull one band through everything on my hook. And now I'm going back into the same place I did was before, right here. 
one band through. Oops, let me start over. Right here. So one band goes through. Now we have two bands on the hook, so then one goes through everything to connect it. Now we're gonna do two single crochet, so we're gonna move to our next spot. We're gonna do a single crochet in this spot, one, and then pull the second band through everything. We're gonna move to the next space here, pull one through, pull another band through everything on your hook, and in the fourth chain, our, in the fourth stitch in the bottom row we are going to put two stitches in so one pull it through everything and our oops if this happens you do need to pay a little bit more attention to where things are because it, unlike when since we're not using slip knots we're not attaching them all so you may, if you lose it, you may end up having to start over, but you can just put it back on your hook. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna start the wings for our butterfly. And the butterfly has two colors in the wings. So I'm gonna be using this color right here, the inside, we're gonna do first, and then we'll add another color. We'll switch to do the outside. So how we're gonna start, and this is slightly different than how we did the body of the butterfly, where we were doing slip knots and around, we're actually gonna be going back and forth in rows. So we are gonna chain five to start. So you're taking one band, wrapping it around your hook so you have two loops. Now we're gonna pull through a second band. So now we have a chain of two. We're gonna chain three four, and five. So now we have five chains. And you know, the rubber bands don't lay flat, so they are gonna scrunch up. So you do sometimes need to pull them taunt so that you can see where you're going. Now, in our next row, we're gonna make four stitches. But when you crochet with a sing using a single crochet stitch like we're doing here, you always add one extra chain to your work so that you, when you turn, it doesn't get crowded. So you're gonna, so this is our working chain and these are the four that we're gonna make crochets in. So you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna put it in this first space, this first chain. And each single crochet uses two bands. So we take one band, we're gonna pull it through just the first loop and we're gonna put it back on your hook. So now you have the one we just pulled through and the original chain. Now we're gonna pull another band through the both of those. And that is the single crochet. And it almost kind of looks like that. But since we're still working. So then we're gonna to move to our second stitch. So that was where we put the first one. So the second one goes in here and we are going to pull one band through back on the hook and then one band through everything on the hook. So we're going to the next space, which is right here. One band through the first and then we're gonna add the second band through everything on your hook. And here is our last one. So pull one through then one through everything. And that's the end of, this, of the four crochets. One, two, three, four. So now we need to chain one because we're gonna do another row and we're gonna hold it. And you wanna make sure you're holding tight and not using two slippery bands because if you do happen to lose a band, a lot of it might start to unravel and you might end up having to start again. So hold it tight. We are going to turn our crochet hook, I mean, I'm sorry, our rainbow loom hook this way and we're gonna go, we're gonna work across to this. So here's our working chain. Here's the top of the crochet. So in this row, we're gonna put two 
single crochets here and then the next two will have one crochet and the last stitch will have two in it. So we're going to go into the first one here. We're going to pull a band through just those first two loops and then a band through everything. And we're going to put another one in the same exact spot. So stick your hook back in, pull it through one, pull it through everything. And then our next stitch here, we're going to put a single, pull through one, pull it through everything. I'm going to do another single in the next stitch here. Pull it through one, and then pull it through everything on the hook. And we're going to go to the last stitch, which is right here. Now this might be a little confusing because you might think, well, there's one more right here at the end. But this is, that's the turning, the edge band. So we're going to put two in this last one. One right through the first, one through everything, and then we're going to do it again. One, and then pull a band through everything. So that's what it looks like. Now we're going to move on to our next color. So if you want to change color for the outside, go ahead and do it now. I'm going to use these um, spearmint bands from Rainbow Loom. So what we're going to do now is in your second color, we're going to chain one. And now we're going to turn. So we can go back in the opposite direction. We are going to put two stitches in the first, like we did on the previous row. And we're going to go across with four and then put two stitches in at the end. So here is our, where we're going to make our first crochet. Pulling one through and then one through everything. Same spot. Pulling one through and then one through everything. So then we're gonna make, we're gonna go to our next space, which is right here, and we're gonna do a single, pull one through, one through everything. That's two, because we're doing four singles. And we're gonna do another one here. So that's our third single. And then our fourth right here. And then pull one through everything. In our last stitch here, we're gonna put two in this last stitch. One. And now a second one in the same spot. Okay, now this is where I'm going to break the rules of doing crochet because I don't, I'm just going to curve my work. I want to extend the outside here down around. So you can, you, you're going to have to sort of, yours might look different. You're just going to need to judge where you want to put your stitches. So we're actually going to put two single stitches here. And I'm going to put one here and one here. So look for these two stitches that are sort of sticking out and we're going to put a single in there. So I'm going to pull one band through and then one band through everything through that. And then I'm going to go down to the next one because I want to kind of do it on the bottom. So then I have two, so now I've gotten, it's curved down around. Our next step, we are going to chain six in the same, in the same color. So one, two, three, four, 
five and six. And now we're gonna change and go back to our inside color. So what we're gonna do, since we changed six, is we're gonna do five single crochets up the side, and that will be the bottom part of the, the wing. So I'm gonna go into the, so this is that turning stitch, the working one that we, gives us extra space at the end. So here's our first stitch, second on the hook, and then the first one past the hook. Put your hook in, pull a single band through, and then a single band through everything. And you're gonna have one of each color on this for that one stitch. So now we're going to our second one. Pull a band through. Pull a band through everything. Let's go to our next one right here. Pull a band through. And then pull a band through everything. And this is four. Pull a band through. Pull a band through what's on your hook. And then our last one here, we're gonna pull a band through. And then we're gonna pull a band through everything. And that's, that's what it should look like. So now we need to attach this to this part up here just like that. So looking at your project here, right where the first color and the second color come together, I'm gonna to put my hook through here in that first color and I'm gonna take my first color and do a slip knot right through that part and then it's make so it's connected. So that's one side of the wing we actually need to make another one, and when you make it, we'll flip it over and then we'll have one for each side. So go ahead and pause the video, rewind it, and make a second wing. And I'll meet you back in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. You should have made a second wing for your butterfly, and now we're in the home stretch. We're almost done. All we need to do is attach the wings. So what I'm gonna do is hold my wings side by side just like this. And I am gonna use two slip knots to attach the wings together. So if you're holding them side by side like this, the, I'm gonna take the first stitch on this side and the first stitch on this side, put my hook up underneath it and take a band and pull it through and make a slip knot. So now they're gonna be connected at the top there. And then I'm going to still have it folded. I'm going to right below where we made the slip knot to end it. I'm going to put my hook through the two there and two here. And then I'm going to slip a knot that together. Just like that. So now they're connected. So now we need to add it to our butterfly. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to figure out where you would like his wings to be. I kind of like it where attaching, um, where the top of the slip knot is, right below his neck there. That was kind of how I was doing it. So I could figure out where I wanted it to go. You can do it up higher, you can do it lower, whatever you'd like. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna go through one side here, and I'm gonna go into the back of his neck, up underneath a stitch, and then back through the other side of the wing, right here, just like that. And I'm gonna do a slip knot. This was the easiest way that I found to attach it. You could try to sew it a different way. But for me, this was gonna be the easiest. And I was gonna pull a slip knot there. And I'm gonna do the same thing right down here below. I'm gonna go through the hole, making sure that I grab a little bit of his body, at least one loop so that it stays put. So just go underneath it, 
grab it, push your hook back through, take a band, and then do a slip knot, just like that. And then his wings are attached. Ta -da! And then we can just take these and pull them inside so that they are hidden behind between the wings and the body. That's where they get hidden. So that is my little happy butterfly. I hope you like this tutorial. I know it was a little bit longer than some of the other ones. If you did like it, go ahead and click like down below. And don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I've got lots of new designs that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for watching and keep blooming.